Hey Bears, I am the Gaming Grizzly and welcome back to Identity 5. And today I want to talk about an upcoming map, the Lakeview Village. I will show you everything, where you can find the cipher machines, the exit gates, the basements and every little detail. I have even prepared a map at the end of the video with almost all the important things that you can find at the Lakeside Village. But first, this video took me a long time to create, so I would really appreciate if you would leave me a like, a comment in the comment section below and share it with your friends. Also, if you want to get the newest updates about the game, the survivors and the hunters, the maps and updates in general, make sure to subscribe to the Gaming Grizzly. Alright, 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 let's get right into it. The first thing we are exploring is obviously the main attraction of this map, the huge shipwreck. There are three ways to get into the ship. The first entrance is right here over this little bridge. From here we can get right to the first floor of the ship. At the nose of the ship there is not really much to see as you can tell right here, but there are also stairs on the ship to actually get to the first floor right here for example. Right around this corner we can also find the first hole in the ground where you can jump down to the ground floor. Inside of the ship we can find a lot of different rooms as well as the first basement down here. So if you go into the ship always make sure if the basement is opened or not and if so try to not get knocked out by the hunter. Then we have the second entrance or in this case exit of the ship right here. It's just a hole in the ship. The third and last entrance is at the back of the ship and can be reached by this little bridge. Right in front of the ship we can also see two damaged boats that you can use to kite the hunter around for a little bit. And to keep the distance to the hunter you have three pallets that you can put down. The next location that I want to show you is the bay. We can actually go a little bit into the water but it seems like we can swim away from the hunter. We can even get behind this little boat right here but we can't get around it. So this makes it actually a pretty dangerous place to hide because there is no escape from the hunter. Another little interesting thing right here is this treasure chest. As soon as you pick it up the chest will give you a pretty good speed buff for a couple of seconds. This can give you a great advantage if you want to get away from the hunter fast. And there are also a lot of small buildings on the map. Here we can see one of those buildings. You can simply run through it and put down one pallet. Ok, let's get to the next huge feature on the Lakeview Village map. The windmills. There are several windmills on this map but you can't get into them. Some of them are also broken and we have a total of 6 different windmills on the Lakeview Village map. Another interesting location is this cornfield right here where we can hide perfectly from the hunters. It leads us directly to one of the main buildings of the map. We can secure the entrance with this pallet right here and we can often find a cipher machine right here. The building offers two doors and one window where we can escape through. And also here is the second basement of the game. This time it's closed. We also have a little bonfire on this map and this location is actually pretty good to kite the hunter around since there are a lot of obstacles and also pallets. This should give the hunter a really bad time hunting you. Well talking about kiting, we have a shipyard on this map and this could be easily described as the dreamland for kiters. There are a lot of different ways to get away from the hunters, for example windows. Well windows aren't the only thing but there are a lot of different windows on this map to walk through. But for example you can also get on this shipwreck right here which actually looks pretty awesome and you can jump right down here and the journey continues. This is probably one of the biggest locations that I've ever seen that is perfectly for kiters. Since there are a lot of pallets, there are a lot of windows, there are a lot of narrow paths where you can run through trying to escape from the hunter. So as I mentioned before, it's basically the kiters dreamland. And if we take a little distance we can see it also looks pretty beautiful. The shipyard. Then we have another location for kiters. But I would say this is for experienced kiters since there are no pallets around. There are only walls with windows where you can walk through. So if you can kite the hunter through windows it would be the perfect place for you. But if you need pallets well you will have a really bad time here. Often you can find a cipher machine at this location as well. Earlier I mentioned that there are a lot of small buildings on this map and this one is one of it. 
you basically can just run through it, throw a pallet and that's it. And let me give you a little tip right here. This house is probably on the worst position on the whole map. It's located right behind the pirate ship, but there is an open field with nothing else to hide, with no pallets, with nothing to get away from the hunter. So don't bring the hunter to this little building right there. We also have this little circle of barrels right here. It offers a few options to annoy the hunter. For example, two pallets that we can see right here, but also a few little gaps where you can run through. Without the need to vault your pallets you just put down. I think this is a very interesting location to either kite the hunter or get rid of the hunter if he is following you. Ok, let's talk about the escape gates on the map. Usually there are two gates on the whole map and the Lakeview village is no exception to this. The first one can be found right behind the ship. And the second escape gate is located, yes you guessed it, on the different end of the map. Alright, so here is the promised map with a lot of different informations. This map is basically a map for survivors because I didn't throw in the rocket chairs. I also have to notice that this map is only for the 4 survivors versus 1 hunter mode. For the 8 survivors versus 2 hunter mode there will probably be more cypher machines. So basically what we can see on the map are the two exit gates right here. The two basement locations in the ship and the main building. And as a little bonus the little treasure chest that we can find at the bay for the speed buff and also the cypher machines. I found a total of 10 positions where the cypher machines can occur. If you are playing as a survivor try to remember the map. If it helps you to remember the map you can also make a screenshot or print it out and put it on your wall right in front of you. But also keep in mind that in each game there will only be 7 cypher machines on the map. So those are 10 possible positions for the 7 cypher machines in the game. Alright, so that was a little review of the Lakeside Village map. I really hope this will help you out remembering the exit gates as well as the locations where you can kite the hunter around as well as the locations of the cyphers. And if you are playing as a hunter I also hope this helped you out. Remember where you can find the basements and also remember the locations where you can be kited around. Because if someone is kiting you around you better just leave this location and search another survivor. About the release date I can't tell you anything in specific. But I can ensure you that this map will actually come pretty soon. I also tweeted out to Identity5 asking them if they have any information that they would like to share about the new map. And they answered me with hello we will definitely add new maps to the game. And yes this map is one of them. I was able to talk to the people at Identity5 and they told me that the map will release pretty soon. And I think since the tweet said that they will add new maps that they are already working on the next map. I can't wait for it. And I have another thought. Maybe this map is connected to the new hunter, the Yellow Lord or whatever his name is. So this could mean that we could get a new map and a new hunter at the same time. I'm really not sure if this will happen in the next update or in the upcoming few weeks. We just have to wait and see. If you liked this video don't forget to leave me a like and also a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this map. This will also be the first map that will be available in the 8 vs 2 mode. Yes you heard right there will be an 8 vs 2 mode. 8 survivors vs 2 hunters. I already made a video about this so if you haven't watched it already I will leave a link in the description below you can go and check it out. Ok 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 so let's end this video. If you have any friends that you might think would be interested in this video make sure to share it with them and if you want to be updated on Identity5 make also sure to subscribe to the gaming Chrissy because I bring you the newest updates about the game every single day. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you have a great day and see you all in the next video. Bye bye!